Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa Q. In today's video, you guys have always asked me in several videos how I do my brows. So I wanted to show you a quick way. I'm going to use powder, a really easy pencil instead of like a concealer, um, a creamy concealer. This lasts longer and I feel like it's a little bit more natural. If you're interested, thank you for watching. So of course we're starting off with our materials. I'll list everything down below. And we are gonna start with just taking a clean spoolie and brushing our hairs in the direction that they naturally just go. That's just the easiest way to show you. And then we're taking like, this is the concealer side of the pencil. This is the more matte side. There is a shimmer side but this is a more matte. This is the concealer side. It works as a barrier to, it's almost like reverse contour, where this is like reverse contour of your eyebrows, pretty much. So I'm taking some of the powder, and if you notice, I am making short strokes. Same thing I would do with the pencil, but I'm doing it with the powder. And the great thing about a powder is that it erases a lot easier and it's a lot more natural than pencil or pomade. So that line that I was talking about in terms of reverse contour, that concealer, that's why I start off with it, it's kind of like a stencil. So it allows me kind of like to have a guide with the black and I'm not like over stepping that line. I hope that makes sense, but it actually is a stencil without using a stencil. So if you don't know where to begin, kind of like drawing it out with the pencil, the white pencil, it helps. And now if you notice, I am changing the stroke in the front part. To me, it just makes it a lot more natural when I allow, like when I change the brush to a vertical rather than a horizontal. So we want our brows to be sisters, not twins. They don't have to be twins, but we definitely don't want cousins, okay? Y'all know what I'm saying. We want it to look alike. So what I do is I do my difficult brow first. And then this brow is actually my easier brow that I can go in and make look like the difficult brow. Once I have my difficult brow good, I can go in. So again, short strokes, starting three quarters of the way, using a horizontal motion, and then working that vertical motion in the front of the brow. And if you notice, like I said, I changed the direction as it goes towards the front. And then you'll notice that I brush it out. I'm not really going for the ombre, but I am going for a more natural. So that's why I let the hair stand up on the front part of my brow. And I just take my finger and just blend that concealer in because it's super creamy. And then I just go back and correct. And it's almost like you have to go back and forth. I don't know, comment down below and let me know if you go back and forth with your brows. Once you're done with your brows, are you just, once you're done with one, are you just done? Or do you go back to the other and do it? And then I check for symmetry and I just, I keep noticing, even while I'm doing the voiceover for this, I notice that the other one is a little bit more sharper. I told you that uh, this is my problem brow. My left brow is my problem brow. So I just go back in to do any cleanup with the pencil. I'm telling you guys, this is super easy. I love because it's like, I know it's three tools, but I just go in and blend and I just keep working the product in. I didn't put anything else more on it, but I'm just working the brow powder that I currently have on there. And again, I just change the direction and blend it. I try not to have the arch too high because I feel like that's not natural. And finally, I set it with the brow gel. I do back comb. This is what back combing. It just allows you to have a little bit more texture on your brow. It allows it to look thicker and more natural and it just doesn't look so put together, but still polished. I hope that makes sense. I don't like to have too much of a structured brow, but I do like a polished brow. 
So it's in between like not doing anything to my brows versus it being too structured. Like the Jordan Woods brows, those are perfect brows. So that's it you guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye loveys.